YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to Ty's Rides. Today, I have got to talk to you guys about two things that are often overlooked and that are super important. These are two mistakes that I've made uh, and it's cost me. The first thing is your chain. Guys, your chain is really, really important because over time, the chain wears. Um, you know, when they're new, that drivetrain is tight, everything's good, the bike will shift really well. Over time though, that chain slowly stretches out. The second thing is your tires. So as far as your tires go, basically um, you can tell your tires are worn when they, the tread starts to show through um, and you see some white. Um, this is really unsafe, both your chain and your tires. It's a safety thing. Uh, if your tires wear and you're going down a steep hill and they blow out, you can see how that would be a safety concern. Also your chain, if you're cranking up a hill and your chain breaks, uh, you could fall that way going downhill on a mountain bike. Um, you could wreck. Guys, these are two simple maintenance things that I pretty much perform. I do every year on all my bikes. I've got one of these chain checkers. Um, I got this with a toolkit I bought. Really, really cheap. Uh, basically, there's two sides to this chain checker. Um, there's a side that says 0.75. If you lay that on the chain and it touches, it's probably time for you to uh, get a new chain. Uh, as I'm taking off my old chain, basically I'm just going to get in I'm gonna get in the lowest gear, actually the highest gear. Uh, small ring on the front, uh, small ring on the back. But basically, you're just gonna put that on. You're gonna hold, and it should you push. You can hear a snap, and you'll push that pin through. Now, if you have a new bike or you've never, you've never uh, put a new chain on before, it's really easy. Um, if your bike's shifting well and you think the chain's the right length, just line up your old chain, get your new chain out. Measure it up. All right, so I need to take out, it looks like about three links. So you can see here, when I take this one out, you'll have, you'll have a spot to basically throw the pin through this end. There it goes, you hear a snap. All right, now, now guys, this is a crucial step and I've messed this up. You don't wanna reuse this pin. So this pin that I just snapped out, that pin's done. We will never use that pin again. As I feed this back through, what I wanna do is, um, I wanna make sure I'm back on my uh, highest gear or the smallest uh, rear chain ring. And you're basically gonna feed this first pulley. It's gonna go, the chain, the new chain is gonna go in front of that pulley, okay, right here. And then we're gonna snake it under here. And it's, this one's gonna go behind the lower uh, pulley. As you can see here, you can see here I've got my chain fed through, but I've got a pull. I don't have a clutch in this derailleur, so it's hard to work with to get that pin in. So I've got this string right here um, that I can use. I'm basically just gonna take this string and I'm gonna kinda uh, whip it onto the derailleur. Now I'm gonna tie the string, I'm gonna tie this string through uh, the front wheel and just get it kind of tight and this will give me some kind of something to pull So we're basically just gonna try to hold the links together and we're gonna push this through so you can see that I've pushed my pin through um, Now I'm gonna need my chain tool. I can start to push That pin through now guys this can be kind of tricky if it doesn't go in straight, it will, you're basically screwed and you gotta get a new pin. So, really gonna try to, there it goes. And so, it's in, and now we just have to feed it the rest of the way through. So make sure your pins are lined up, the pin on your chain tool, and the pin that's going into the links. Hope you guys can see this. All right, guys, so we're good. Um, now, this end right here, I'm just gonna take a pliers and I'm basically gonna break that off. And we have a new chain on. Let's see how the bike shifts. All right, guys, new chain's on, the uh, shift's good. All right, guys, so when I'm doing this, when you're putting a new tire on, uh, my road bike, I use tubes. On my other bikes, I have tubeless tires, uh, so you don't require a tube. Just make sure that you 
uh, have that tube all the way inside uh, the wheel and there's not part of the tube hanging outside of the bead of the tire because if you put a lot of pressure in the tire and there's a part of the tube hanging out you can blow out the sidewall of the tire basically bead the tire onto the wheel really simple I'm gonna pump this thing up. I run my road tires at about 110 PSI. There you have it, two really simple maintenance things for your bike uh, that's gonna save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle in the long run. Guys, thanks for checking out the video today. If you haven't already uh, clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit that like button. Thanks a lot.